JK and Clay. JK's out, uh, Clay's in. Um, after last game, Chris and Trace both mentioned uh, the communication, better communication on the defensive end. Have you perceived that as well? And was there any conversation about that coming out of the Minnesota game? Um, we didn't really have much conversation about it. We just, we've been watching the, the clips from the last couple of games and the guys are, have been really locked in defensively. And uh, I think it all goes hand in hand, you know, we're connected and, and part of that is communication. Part of that is just executing. And, uh, but it definitely, definitely helps when everybody's, um, you know, loud and, and, uh, and able to, to communicate to each other. How vital has Gary been these last, you know, not just it's been great. Yeah, Gary's playing at a at a really high level. He's uh, he looks healthy. He's moving, um, you know, elite speed in transition. He's making plays, um, you know, at both ends. So, Gary's played a big role in this uh, this little run here on the trip. Um, when did you know Chris talked about not just Moses' maturity after last game? How quickly? In his time in Golden State, was he able to impress that on, on you and the team? Um, pretty much right away. You know, he didn't say anything for uh, the first week of training camp when we had him. Not one word, and um, he wasn't um, wasn't going to be in the rotation. And I didn't, you know, I didn't know much about him. And I went and went to have a talk with him, and I ended up doing all the talking. You know, he still didn't say anything, and I didn't know what was. On the other end, you know, I just kept, I was explaining his situation and he just nodded and I said, what do you think? And he thought for a second, he said, my dad always said a, a, a smooth ocean makes, doesn't make a steady sailor. And I was like, oh my God, that, that was like the first thing I ever heard him say. And it's like, what a great piece of wisdom, you know, like, I think it was actually like stormy seas don't make a steady say something like or, or do make you know whatever now I'm getting it wrong because I don't have the wisdom myself <laughs> so uh it, whatever it was it was profound um but no that, that's kind of who Moses is like he's so quiet he's he reminds me so much of Loon you know he's very quiet and and um he's um but he's just got a lot of wisdom. Um, he understands process um, when he doesn't play and he falls out of the rotation. He stays positive. He keeps working. I mean, he's just he's a total pro. And um, it's only year three, so, you know, it's uh, very impressive. Would you share your thoughts coming back to San Antonio? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, yet another French guy taking the city back. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you've been asked that question many, many times, but, you know, he's going to be rookie of the year, it seems like it. What do you think of the guy now after 70 games? Yeah, I mean, we've, um, I think we've only played him once in the, regular season um and he, he missed it he missed the last one but i think he might have missed the first one that we played too but no 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 so we've seen him twice that's right yeah um but i i see a big difference between now and the beginning of the season he just feels he looks like he feels more confident more comfortable um he's not cautious at all you know he's um getting to his spots easier um and in certain spots, there's just absolutely nothing you can do with him. So, um, yeah, he's there's nobody like him for sure. And so it's going to be fun to see you know where he goes with with this talent and this size. And uh, it's um, it's not going to be easy to to defend him. That's for sure. Or score against him. Pop doesn't like losing, obviously, but does it seem like he's enjoyed himself teaching that young group? For sure, yeah. I mean, um, he he loves what he does. Um, whether he's winning championships or coaching a team in the lottery, he's a part of Pop's magic. Is his uh, his joy for life, his joy for um, coaching basketball, his joy in the relationships, and um, you know, I think the ability to keep that consistent uh, approach is really important. Um, in this game because we all have our ups and downs, um, wins and losses. Could you see him finishing that five-year deal as a coach? Sure, yeah. Um, he was supposed to retire like five years ago, so. I think I asked you that five years ago. Right, 
So why would uh, why would we predict that he's going to retire anytime soon? He's still going strong and still doing a great job and loving his work. So I could see it. Going back to JK for a second, was he, was he close? I saw him warming up. Was he close? I don't know. I, I just got a text from a training staff that we get every, every um, you know, before every game. It said he's out, so I haven't talked to them yet. Had to play a lot of, a lot of guys yet. You don't usually play. What did you think of the Mamus and Devante and Chetty? And just I, the thought, I thought the group was fantastic. You know, that's what I just told them. They were great. To have those, you know, three guys out and have the combinations that we had out there with the uh, guys that hadn't played too much. Uh, I'm just so proud of them. They've come a long way from the beginning of the year to now to be able to play a, a team like that. And uh, we've been doing it, uh, you know, for the last month or so. Uh, really started to click with the group. And uh, I'm just, I mean, nobody hates to lose. Uh, nobody loves to lose. But uh, their effort and playing for 48 minutes, they've figured that out, and they just keep on pushing. It was, it was a great night. They kept punching back whenever Golden State would go on those flurries. Does that sort of speak to the, the confidence or resilience that yeah, you're talking Yeah, that's about? what I basically just said. Yeah. Um, OK, then. Sandro specifically, um, you know, it just seems like he always always does what you're looking for, moving the ball. Yeah, he's, he's like my favorite player. Uh, he moves without the ball. He cuts. He goes after loose balls. I mean, the way he plays is just fun to watch. He's just steady movement. It, it never, never stops. It's fun to watch him. OK, have a good night. Oops, sorry. A lot of moving parts tonight with guys out and you guys coming in. Uh, how do you think you guys uh, fare with with the with all the changes? You know, we had to, yeah, but, I mean, pass the ball even more. You know, work for open shots even more. And uh, yeah, play hard. You know, execute. What did you think of those guys coming in? Mamu with a double double. Mm -hmm. Devante had some good minutes. Chetty starting. Yeah, well. I mean, Mamu of course. You know, going to work every. I mean, every single position. Getting offensive offensive boards. You know, everything is precious. And uh, the other guys as well. Yeah, I mean, I like how how they stepped up. Is Sandro just fun to play with? Is he fun mm -hmm. to share the court with? Of course, yeah, of course, you know. Um, yeah, he's, I mean, he's a you know, smart, smart guy. Battles for in, on every position, and yeah, he's the type of guy you want on your team. Type of you know fighter. Victor, how do you how do you feel you did handling, especially without Devin, without Keldon? I mean, these are important offensive players. How do you feel like you handled that extra attention that you get, even more than you normally get? How do you feel like you handled that from Golden State? Mm. I mean, uh, you know, it's for me. It's a lot of, it's a lot of um, being focused on, you know, on myself first. How I, how I can help the team. How I, you know, how I move my body. Because it's, um, you know, I, I know when guys can't stop me when I, when I'm, uh, you know. When I'm using all of my weapons, and uh, so it's it's always like this. I always, you know, try to, you know, no matter the, what the opponent is doing, I'm always trying to fit in the in the team effort. And uh, yeah, when there's double team, pass the ball, and you know, do all the the little work that doesn't show up on the on the stat sheets. Did you get a chance to look at the foul call at the end of the game? When yeah. You the bag? What did you mm -hmm. think of it? Look at the replay. I mean, it's uh. To me, I'm just reaching over to just get, get the ball. You know, it's, I'm not. It's not like I'm stepping on, on on the guy or you know, pushing on him. I'm just reaching for the ball, like I do four or five times a game. A game. It's not. I mean, yeah. This this happens, you know. Pop just said that you guys started to click with each other uh, since the All Star break. Do you feel the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like it started even even before, but it's. Uh, it's, it's you know something continuous 
that, and that we, you know, we put an emphasis on this also, uh, recognizing each other's strengths. And uh, but yeah, it's it's true that it's it's been going even faster since the All Star. Is there anything in particular, just like when you talk about the things that are clicking, one thing mm -hmm. that pops off the top of your head faster, like this is an area that we've improved the most? Um, there's multiple, multiple, but um, I would say, I would say one of the you know the biggest things for us is the uh, play you know off the ball. A lot, I mean, a lot of guys who can. Yeah, you know, when the atten when the attention, I mean, defense is focused on one area, you know, cut the other the other side, and it's this is one thing. Jeremy could be out, you know, maybe for the rest of the season, possibly. What what's your assessment of his play this season, and just his growth, and just uh, how you guys play together? I mean, he's been there for what 70, 74 games in a row. That's ninety percent. Uh, even even if he would be out for the rest of the season, that's ninety percent availability. That's that's huge, you know. And he's he's played so many minutes, so many minutes, so many precious minutes for us, doing all the all the the dirty and the the hard job, you know. So it's um, yeah. I mean, uh, he's just been a, such a great asset for us on both sides of the court, and uh, yeah. I mean, it it showed. For example, you know, last game against New York as well, you know. I don't think, I mean, I think Jeremy would have had a word in the second half on, you know, Brunson's performance, of course. Uh, but it's, you know, he's precious to us. So it's, it's uh, you know, I hope he's, he's going to be as healthy as possible. And also because he's got, you know, maybe the national team this summer. So I know he, he wants to be healthy. Were you, were you surprised to receive a fine after the last game? Did you know that was even a hold? Um, surprised. Let's say when I, when I threw the ball, I thought maybe yeah, like I re, I remember players being fine for this, but it was it was always in a, like a bad, it, they threw it always in a bad way, you know. Yeah. I threw it not you know to <laughs> to make uh, some 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 guys day, but uh, it's um no, it was it's funny, it's just funny, you know. While the ball's in the air, you're thinking, oh no, that might be twenty-five thousand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. But after that, I was like, I was like, no, nah, that's fine. Like, I, I threw it to you know to please somebody. It's not yeah. like I'm it's trying to hurt or throwing it at somebody. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. They don't care about intent, I guess, on that. Uh, apparently. <laughs> back, so back to the nine. Sorry, we only got time for two more, French. Go ahead, Ben. This is more. Tu vois la beaucoup évolué en attaque. Par exemple, je prends deux fois plus de post-up qu'avant le All-Star Break. Est-ce que tu nous racontais comment ta manière d'attaquer a évolué euh, en fait, au fil de la saison um, ouais, Je pense que c'est passé par beaucoup d'épuration, de, de, de possession un peu intermédiaire où, où je ne faisais pas vraiment quelque chose de, de concret. Donc c'est um, sur ça qu'on a vraiment insisté avec Pop. Um, voilà, pour uh, être plus décisif en fait. Et, parce que c'est beaucoup, enfin la majorité du temps. Quand aujourd'hui, quand je quand je marque pas, c'est 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 purement de ma faute en fait. C'est pas c'est pas celui du défenseur. C'est parce que voilà, c'est bah j'ai enfin je, bien sûr je fais mon maximum, mais c'est j'ai du mal parfois à, à situer voilà mon corps et la manière dont je peux être le plus efficace. Donc c'est c'est mais même si en regardant la vidéo, ça paraît évident, c'est c'est dur à appliquer. Qui constitue sur le, sur le même sujet en fait. On entend beaucoup en NBA, sur la part d'anciennes stars de l'NBA par exemple, qui disent euh, c'est impressionnant au niveau qu'il a déjà en fait après une saison sans avoir développé de go to moves. Mm -hmm. Je suis curieux d'avoir ton opinion là-dessus. Est-ce que tu cherches à en développer Est-ce que tu considères que tu en as déjà Ou est-ce qu'au contraire, euh, c'est un objectif pour toi en fait de continuer à rester imprévisible en fait mm. euh, Je pense que. Je pense que. Je pense pas que j'en aurais un, un seul, je veux dire. Même pour, euh, sur, sur le long terme, mais plutôt euh, voilà, une série de, de moves euh, à maîtriser. Et, voilà, à faire, à faire de, de manière régulière, mais c'est vrai que c'est pas, pas mon intention voilà, de, de diminuer ma panoplie. Donc, euh, à voir, mais il y a beaucoup de, de zones que j'aimerais maîtriser.
fort. Est-ce que tu peux nous parler de ta relation avec Greg Popovich Comment est-ce qu'elle a évolué entre le début de l'année et aujourd'hui Est-ce que tu vois des similitudes un petit peu avec Vincent Collet l'an dernier dans l'équipe de France mmh. Après, je l'ai plus vu à, à Le Valois qu'avec l'équipe de France. Mais... Um... Bon, c'est différent. Ouais, c'est bon, différent, deux personnes très différentes. Et, euh, mais je dirais que, ouais, c'est. Il euh, y a des similitudes entre, en, dans, dans, dans les, ces deux relations, ouais, entre Vincent et moi et, et Pape et moi. Parce que, voilà, je suis, moi, je suis, je suis un, un élève et, et c'est les maîtres un petit peu. Et, mais voilà, mais sinon, sinon, ma relation avec Pop n'a pas, a pas spécialement évolué dans une direction depuis le début de saison. Mais je suis toujours. Euh, voilà, on, on, on parle toujours beaucoup, on s'entend bien, on rigole ensemble. Et voilà, après, il est, il est toujours, aussi, toujours aussi exigeant. Et, et, et moi aussi, j ai, j ai, moi aussi, je ne le lâcherai pas. Tu <rire> penses que c'est le bon coach pour euh, tes prochaines années en NBA Ouais, bah, quelle question. <rire> bien sûr. Thanks, Merci. Merci.